Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very, very cool unboxing. Something that came in from one of my subscribers they're allowing me to check out. It's pretty ridiculous and I want to share this with you guys. It's something I've never handled. It's a grail knife. It's a knife I would love, love to own. Um, just a little out of my reach right now, but uh, really, really cool knife. And uh, this is going to be pretty awesome. I actually just unboxed this little guy, and I wanted to do that in honor of this, because I feel like this box needed a knife like this to open it. So this is my Koenig Mini Arius, Arius, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful hollow grind, USA made. Fantastic little knife, by the way. If you can get one of these. They just started making these recently. So let's go ahead and get into this box. And thank you to all my awesome subscribers, by the way, out there who share knives and subscribe to the channel, who are channel members. And I really appreciate you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you to every one of you guys, and especially to this particular subscriber who's... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put this in there. This is going to be a part of a giveaway. We're going to include this in the giveaway. He's got an extra one of these, and he wanted this to be part of a giveaway. That's going to be really cool. And if you don't know what this is, I actually have that. I have it in my little pack with all my skiff washers. And I, when I replace them, I use this. This is one of the first ones I came out with. And this is one of the cooler ones with the blue on there. It's really nice. Uh, you can see this, this got fancy compared to this. But um, what it does, it allows you to see the size of the pivots on the washers and then also um uh, uh, sorry the size of the pivot so you know how big the hole for the washer needs to be or it's actually a cage cage bearings uh, some people are like that's cage bearings it's not a washer well it's cage ceramic ball bearing washer because it's technically inside a washer that's been that's caging two washers that's caging and has holes and cages the ceramic ball bearings call it what you want if if that bothers you please forgive me but i call it cage ceramic ball bearing washers because they really are acting in the function of a washer because they're contact between the blade and between the, the the handles right but anyways very cool this helps you find out the right size definitely recommend that i'm going to put that over there i have some other stuff that i'm going to be giving away from skiff and we are getting close to that big 3000 so it should be pretty exciting i know you guys are like well come on what are you doing let's see what it is all right there's nothing else in the box so we'll put that down there we do have something here okay all right okay here we go all right, so that's what it is right there. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, look at that. Whew. I have never handled one of these. I have wanted to handle one of these. I have. I'm so honored to be able to handle one of these. This is up there with like the Voodoo, the Null Knives, never handling one of those knives. This is up there. This is truly amazing. Proudly made in the USA, like a Koenig Arius is a USA made knife. I love that. I love, love that. It, they're harder to get. There are less of them, but they're they're that for a reason. Ah, it's magnetic here, so here we go. Whew. All right, so it's a Roosevelt knife, twelve ninety nine. This was born or made on twelve one twenty five. Rockwell hardness sixty three sixty four. Magna cut, putter milling construction. This is the exact grail knife that I would love to get. This exact one right here. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm going to put that off to the side. I love this pattern. This is, yeah, this is the one I would want. Look at that pattern. Look at the beautiful, I mean, perfect clip. Look at the clip. It's got some nice flex to it, everything. Everything chamfered perfectly around. Got some aggressive jimping for your grip, which is nice. Everything is rounded. Now, you can tell this is a, this is a, uh, a thumb hole flipper only, but... You know, you're not feeling like you're missing anything when it's done so perfectly well. Oh, does it have an over-travel bar, steel bar insert? We'll take a look. I think it might. That is amazing. Looks like T8s right there. T8s, yeah, two screws, back spacer. That just comes together beautifully. Everything's so beautifully shepherd. My gosh, dude, why did you send this to me? Oh, you're going to make this grill knife even more of a grill knife for me. Oh, well, I'm, I'm honored and I'm ecstatic to have handled it this will be one of those knives that you go yeah i handled one i probably won't own one but i handled one it's so light it's ridiculous how light this is that's amazing <sighs> all right and there you see the oz company 12.99 let's do it i hear this is amazing all right here we go <laughs> Wow. Wow. 
Okay, yeah, that's that's almost emotional. It's so nice. Yeah, you guys who don't collect knives, who aren't into it, you may, might think, what, what the heck is wrong with this guy? Those of you who enjoy knives and collect them, yeah, you know, you know. When you handle something special, this is that. This is absolutely that. Just look at that, the milling, the blade. Now, the point of that, finger choil, look at this grip. Perfect grip. I've got plenty of room for large, extra large, double extra large hands. Easily double extra large hands on this thing. You've got some wonderful jimping here and here. Reminds me of Rick Hinder, but not as crazy aggressive, but very functional, very useful for push cut. I mean, you could do a pull cut. Yeah, you can absolutely do a pull cut. You can actually do, can we do this? Yeah, you could actually do a push cut with the back if you need it to. Magna cut. Let me tell you, I have the McNeese. I have two McNeese, uh, the auto and the manual. They have the uh, HRC 6364, and I'll tell you, it retains its edge so beautifully. And look how thin that edge is. Look at that. Just look at that. And the swedge as well, so you can navigate that cut. Such a wonderful. Magna cut is a fantastic steel. It really is. Look at that engagement. Let's look at that. We're at 25% for sure. It does have a steel bar insert. There's the pivot in there. Very, very cool. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I... This must be my quest from now on. I must get to this one. I don't know. Maybe I'll just stop buying knives, period. And until we get to this one, we'll have to do that. I would love, love to get this one with this pattern. Man. Wow. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm just totally awestruck. That's so comfortable. All that chamfering all the way across. No sharp edges. The milling. Enough texture, it gives you some grip, but not enough texture to cause it to be uncomfortable. That clip, yeah, hidden pivot screw, I mean, hidden uh, clip screw, which is great. So flush. Now, I don't know if it's captive. It looks like it's got two screws. Could be it's captive, or they could do what Arno Bernard does with the iMambas. One of the one of the sides of the screws is absolutely Loctite, and it's not just Loctite. It's like a super glue Loctite, like a what they do with heavy machinery. It's so there's Loctite uh, 242, and then I think there's like Loctite 270 or something like I forget the number, but it's it. The only way you break that Loctite is you have to heat it, and that's the only way to break it. It's like super glue, and I wonder if they do that. I don't know. It's not my knife. I'm never taking this apart. I would never dare. I, this knife is not going to leave the desk. I may go out in the backyard over the grass where it's safe, where I may cut a video just so I can have it in the sun to see this because I suspect this is going to be ridiculous in the sun. Yeah, it's ridiculous in my light right here already. I am just awestruck. I really am. Uh, you know, I, I, I got a chance to um, 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 handle quite a few crazy knives from really high-end Shira Goroff, William Henry, uh, I handled a deadlock, which was really cool. They were all very impressive. They were very cool, but nothing like this. This, I don't know. This, this just fits. It's just brilliant. Brilliant how this works. And look at that. It's such a cutter. Such a, and this is a stone wash. So you can see you could absolutely use this thing. And I don't know if this is the stonewash pattern or if the person actually uses this knife because it looks like there's some patterns on there. He might have actually been cutting stuff. I don't know, but it could be just a stone wash pattern on there. But wow, look at that. Look at that chamfering. Just look at that. I, I feel like that video, you know, if you ever see the little meme, was, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Just look at that. Yeah, look at that. All right, so let's do some up close. You've got to see this. If you've never seen this up close, you need to see some of this angle. This this is genuinely textured milling. It is so symmetrical. It's soothing to my OCD brain. There's so much here that just fits. That's very comfortable with my brain. I don't know if you notice this. You've got this angle on the blade here, right? It, it complements this angle over here. The little subtleties, it kind of flows together. The angle here, you got angles that flow. You got the angle of the blade that flows. You got the angle of the cutouts. They all flow. The angle of the belly of the blade, it's it's it all fits together. Even the angle within the thumb hole, it is just a symmetrical, pleasing wonder to me. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm staring at it. I just I I don't have a lot of deep insight for you at this moment as I'm processing this. 
this is uh yeah i mean i i I know I have knives that are more expensive than this, right? But this thing is, oh, well, look at the buttery action. Did you see that? Let's do that again. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Look at that. Wow, can I bet left-handed? Oh, yeah, let me, gotta get your finger in there. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's light, but it feels so premium, so solid. And it, when it and when it deploys and engages in that frame lock, when the tang the bar lock locks in on that tang, it is just it's it's a sight to see, it's a wonder to hear, it's a pleasure to feel. You can feel the the the, the quality of this knife. I can hear the quality of this knife. I can see the quality of this knife. And if I was really, really weird, I could probably taste the quality of this knife, but I'm not going to do that because I would never do that to somebody who would be allow me to, to handle such a knife like that. There's no way I would ever do that. That would be so disrespectful. So absolutely disrespectful. I would never do that. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I every time I'm going to handle this knife, I'm probably going to wash my hands. I did wash my hands, by the way, before I did this. So I, I'm, I was ready. I was ready. This knife deserves that respect. But man, if this was my knife, I would be. It would be hard not to carry this all the time. I get it. I get it. The Oz machine. I I get it. I understand. I I I understand this thing. And this is such a great size. It's like you know, the uh, Spider Co. Um, the Para Three has that really nice size. I mean, the only thing that I could think comes close to this. Let me. I, I feel like I got to pull it out because it's the only thing in milling that I think would somewhat, I don't know, pay homage to the milling on here. This is an RG Custom Works on my Spyderco Para 3. And that milling on here is just phenomenal. And uh, this right here, you can see that, the burst pattern. Now this is just an interlaced one that I really, really enjoy. Very different knives, but very complementary and some of that beautiful. Now, this is not a standard Spyderco scale. This was a very much a custom second market scale that I got that makes this... Oh, I lost my CME. These are on their super glue and they've lasted forever. And I don't know what I did, but that means I have to reapply this. So this is a CME. It's compression made easy. These never fall off. It, you know what it is? This knife was so overwhelmed by being in the presence of the Oz machine uh, Rosie Roosevelt that I think it was like literally bowing to to this knife I, 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 I get this impression and this is totally stupid but this impression of this knife is like I am not worthy to be by you and it felt like I've got to shed myself of these extra accoutrement, accoutrements to be in your presence you know it's almost like paying homage in the knife of itself the only thing that I think that could be in its presence would be like a mini Arius or probably like, I mean, honestly, if I'm gonna, if I was to compare, the only thing that would be in presence would be like a Herman Sting or a Trevor Berger Urban XL Custom. That's the only thing that you feel like this is the kind of group. If these guys hung together, you knew these were all alphas. You knew you were hanging out with the big boys. This is what that is. But I don't have the the most impressive. Um, user fit finish I mean this don't get me wrong mini areas is phenomenal this I'm enjoying a lot but this now I I guess the difference is I own this one right so I get to enjoy this and I know and I've experienced I'm enjoying that this I have always wanted to get and I, I've come close one time I just couldn't afford it it was out of my range it was secondary market I couldn't afford it on the second oh, that, do you hear that okay you got let me do that again. You've got to hear that in the microphone. Just listen. Ready? That is just phenomenal. Let me do that with thumb. Even that, which is not as powerful. Let's do it again. That is just phenomenal. I almost wonder, can I? Can I? Can I? I can. I can front flip it. I've, I've done this with some other knives. If you get just enough angle, you get up here. Let's see here. Yeah, you can do it. It's not intended for it, but it's high enough that it's possible if you want to front flip it. But that is absolutely simply drop dead cool. Let's look at that edge. 
It's a micro edge, for sure. Looks like you probably got about a, I'm gonna guess it's like a 20, 22 degree edge. It, but it is a thin blade, oh my gosh. Okay, wait, maybe not. Maybe it's a 20, maybe it's a 15, 17 degree edge because that is so thin. Look at that, that is so thin. This is a slicer. This would cut through anything. If I could, I would cut paper for you to show you this, but it's not my knife. I'm not gonna do anything with this except for just experience it. But I bet this thing slices through paper like butter. Oh my gosh. I thought maybe this was you know, a 20, 25 degree angle because it's so short edge, but I hadn't realized how thin, thin that blade is. It is a full flat, flat grind, but it is super tall and the belly's deep. And so I'm gonna guess that edge is probably, I'm gonna guess it's probably anywhere from a 17 to a 20 degree edge blade. Probably that, especially being that this is magna cut with 63, 64 Rockwell hardness. Wow, yeah, man. My hand is begging for a knife like this. Just look at that. Look how well that fits in the hand. That just feels natural. Feels really good. And that action is beautiful. And just again, one more time. That pop, that snap, that actuation when you deplo deploy it and it opens, it's crisp, it's clean, it's beautiful. I get it. I get it. And I can catch it right there so I don't have to worry about a guillotine on my finger. <sighs> All right, so look at the back again. I don't know if I did the back view, but we'll do it one more time. Let's look at the back spacer really nicely. Look at the tolerances. Everything's nice and tight there. The beautiful jimping there. Really fantastic. And that, that thumb hole is just perfect. All right, so let's see. Where's the detent on this? Oh, my gosh. You clear the detent right there. So I'm clearing the detent right there. I know the Mini Arias had a really... You cleared the detent right there. That's really, really close. That's crazy. Let's see the custom Polish knives. And see, you clear the detent. Oops. You clear the detent right there. It's much, much lower. And then the Trevor Burger with its. All right, you clear the detent right there. So these are much more in line with each other, but these are much higher. So that's interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Yeah, this has a very, once you clear that detent, it's, it's real easy to get by, right? This has a very high detent. So that's where the, that's where it starts to clear. And does it, is there a path? Is there a track on this thing? No, there's not a track. You can see where it's touching right there. And get the light in there. You can see that. That's where the ball goes over. Yep, goes over there. Oh. It has two detent balls. There's two de de there's two detent balls. I didn't know that. That's cr that's crazy. I've I don't think I've ever seen that. Okay, that's okay. I don't know if I can get at this in camera. Let me see if I can. Can we see that? I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Let's see if I can get in there. Can you see the two TD temp balls? That's crazy. I didn't know he did that. That's really, really cool. So you clear one, and then it locks in both. I mean, but look at the tolerances on that. It must be recessed for the cage ceramic ball bearings in there. Yeah. Definitely ball bearings the way it, how smooth that is. Okay, let me get back to regular zoom. I am I am quite overwhelmed. Yeah, I better not I better not keep this too long. I better just do my review and get this back to the, to the awesome subscriber who allowed me to 
to try this knife out. Man. Yeah. This is the one that I have always wanted. This is the exact one. That is so cool. So cool. I'm hoping there's more of these available and I'll get a chance to uh, get one of these. If you're going to give me a chance to look at one and you go ahead and make it my grail. I mean, well, my perfect grail knife. This is it. So he, he has the grail knife that I have always wanted. That is so cool. Can I slow roll it? Yep, absolutely. You can slow roll it. And I'm sure I can slow roll it left-handed. Yep, absolutely. So if you like to slow roll, no problem. Easily reverse flick, no problem. Yeah, very easy. No issues there. That's just stunning. Stunning. <sighs> There's so many elements on here that just blows me away. I almost feel like the angle of the clip under here is symmetrical with the angles of these curves. I, I almost would like to measure those, the the angle, the bow here, if they're all pretty close in angular in, in angles. Because they sure seem like it. Is it dead center? Of course it's dead center. I mean, I would be shocked if it wasn't, but it's dead, perfect, not centered. So, wow. <clears throat> that is impressive. That is thoroughly impressive. All right. I don't know if you, if I conveyed everything I normally convey, because I'm like a deer in headlights here, and this is my headlight staring right at me. And uh, I'm pretty overwhelmed. I, this is special. This is absolutely special. If you haven't, if you have an Oz, good on you. If you don't have an Oz and you get the opportunity to get an Oz and you can afford it, I say go for it. If you have any questions about it, I say no, don't question, go for it. At least if you like some of the stuff that I like and if you like some of the aesthetics I like. You know, if if some of the aesthetics that, that I like aren't to your liking, then, you know, don't get it, right? Don't don't waste your money on something that, you know, you're not going to enjoy. And let the rest of the world get a chance to enjoy that if you're not going to enjoy it. But if this is something that appeals to you, I can if you're if you're on a if you like the look and you like the idea of a thumb hole uh, that works perfectly, kind of like a spider coat, but works perfectly, and you're on the thumb on the on the you know on the edge on the on the on the ledge, if you will, before you wanted to jump off because you weren't sure is it worth it, is it quality enough, is is the are the you know are the are the parameters just right, you know are the is the is the manufacturing tightness and con controls in place to make this really that special. Let me just assure you, yes. Yes, and then yes, and then yes. Absolutely, 100%, no questions asked. This is a ridiculous, phenomenal, incredible, astounding knife. This is just next level. It's beautiful. It's got the aesthetics. It's got the action. It's light, it's functional, it feels good, it sounds good, it looks good. You know, when you look at the shape of the blade, it is, it's meant to be used. It just really is a great cutter. And as Tri-State from EDC would say, Cole, it's a pinch grip all day long. Yeah, give me a chance to have a, a, a rosy that I could pinch grip all day long. I would love that. Yeah. This is great. Absolutely phenomenal. I've got to get this back to the guy. I can't hold on to this too long because I'm going to, I will get very sad after I return it. I will feel all my other knives don't mean crap. <laughs> Quite frankly, it really is that good. It really is that good. This, this, this is something else. This is absolutely something else. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. It is almost emotional. It's weird. Yeah, it is a knife that uh, I need to get. So there we go. Any of you guys subscribers, you see one of these available somewhere, let me know. I mean, I, I got to get the funds up for it, right? I don't have the cash on hand for something like this. You know, I, that's just the reality. It's really outside of my realm, but I very, very, very much want to get one of these. <sighs> there you go. Uh, what, a, what a great experience. Thank you. Thank you to the subscriber who allowed me to borrow your knife. And your knife is, is really quite special. It's really amazing. And, and I'm I'm very grateful. You've really made my day. This this was fun. This was absolutely incredibly fun to experience. And it will be for the next few days before I get it back to you because I do not 
I want to get this back to you. It's a very special knife, so you need to have this back in your possession for you to enjoy. Um, but man, this is so much fun. Maybe I'll ask him if he's okay if I carry it at least through Monday for the live stream. We can talk about it there because I, I, I would have a lot to say about this. Uh, I would absolutely have a lot to say about this. Um, my review probably going to be even longer than this because this is one of these knives. I'm just I'm I'm quite overwhelmed. Really am. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you to you guys. You guys are awesome. I appreciate everyone of you subscribers. I appreciate one of you channel members. Thank you. Thank you for allowing this channel to exist, allowing me to experience some of these amazing knives, knives that I've now since acquired in my collection, knives that I someday hope to get in my collection, like this one. I really appreciate it. Hey, if you guys found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or informative, would you please consider subscribing down below to the channel? And if you've already subscribed, would you also consider maybe, you know, oh, sorry, hit the like button down below. Would you also consider hitting the subscribe button? So sub subscribe and like the channel. If you've done both of those things, it, I really appreciate it because it allows me to grow as a channel, produce more content, do more things, get to see more knives, basically in the end, do more things for you guys. And I really appreciate that. I, I, it's part of the channel that I really thoroughly enjoy. I enjoy conversations, discussions, talking about knives like this um, with you guys in the chat, on the live stream, emails when great subscribers do stuff, amazing stuff like this that blows me away. Um, yeah, and, and even even the giveaway that he also included, yeah, the, the amazing little little pivot bearing um i forget what this is called i should know golly uh if you didn't know if you go to uh, skiff's uh, washers and you get you buy skiff washers and some of those tools because he also sells this little awesome tool right here that would be cool like if you were to take this apart and it's not captive pivot you can use this to hold one um he sells all those kinds of tools online and if you didn't know i have a code for you to get 10 percent off rnk10 you use that, you get 10% off all your purchases of washers and those tools uh, when you buy them from Skiff uh, Bearings, okay? Definitely check it out because they make any knife awesome. I mean, when you're at this level, I don't know what could be make it any more awesome because, you know, the washers in there, Skiff Made Knives is actually a custom knife maker, a lot like this guy. It would be like if, you know... Um, if the Oz Machine Works decided to make their own washers and started selling them. That's what Skiff Made Bearings is. They make their own washers. They're phenomenal, incredible tolerances. I believe it's similar to like what Koenig does, right? I'm pretty sure Polish, uh, Herman, sorry, Herman Knives, they make their own washers as well, or ball bearings and stuff. So all that, I'm, I just want to say that, you know, you can get 10% off. Go ahead and check it out. So let me get back to finishing up, wrapping up. Um, and if you've already subscribed, would you consider hitting the notification button so you can be notified of future content? And hey, if you haven't already, maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thank you so much, you guys. Really. I'll have a great day and a great week.